Hello guys, Rachel here of Archaeologist. Today, we're going to do the short unboxing and also reviewing the ASRAC Intel Arc A380 Challenger ITX graphics card. Let's do the unboxing. Inside the box, you will find the user's manual, the ASRAC thank you card, and lastly, the ASRAC Intel Arc A380 Challenger ITX graphics card. Let's go to specifications and features. The ASRAC Intel Arc A380 Challenger ITX graphics card has dimensions of 190 by 124 by 39 millimeters. Here are some of the technical specifications of the graphics card. The ASRock Intel Arc 8380 Challenger ITX is one of the graphics cards offered by ASRock and was available in the Philippines. The card has a black color scheme and is very minimal, which is good for ITX builds for a stealthy look. This is a single fan design card with a striped axial fan to improve the airflow. The fans also automatically stop spinning if it's not required. On the side, you'll find the ASRock logo and the Intel Arc logo. This graphics card does not have a backplate, so it has an exposed PCB. The PCB though is black, so it's not an eyesore. You can also see the circular heatsink for the GPU. This graphics card uses a 6 plus 2 pin power connector. This is a dual slot graphics card with 4 ports for displays, 1 HDMI 2.0 port, and 3 DisplayPort 2.0. Let's install the graphics card. Here are my final thoughts. The ASRAC Intel Arc 8380 Challenger ITX graphics card is an entry-level graphics card that is good for ITX builds. As the name itself implies, it is compact to fit in small form factor cases. The performance compared to other 8380 from Sparkle only shows a little bit of difference, with XESS turned on or off. I did not expect so much from this card that it would outperform the Sparkle, as this is an entry-level card in the form of ITX. Design-wise, the card is minimalistic. It is better to look at when it's stored vertically than horizontally. As it is exposed, the heatsink kinda ruins the color scheme of the card. Overall, the ASRAC Intel Arc 8380 Challenger ITX graphics card is a good entry-level card. It may not be an impressive card in games with high presets, but this will suit your needs and can also be a good card for video streaming thanks to the AV1 encoding and decoding, plus the addition of DirectX 12 support. 
But still, I cannot recommend it immediately as there are other cards in the second-hand market that will outperform this card. Though this is a nice card for your ITX builds. You can buy the ASRock Intel Arc A380 Challenger ITX graphics card for around 7,600 pesos at your nearest ASRock affiliated online and physical stores. I hope this video is informational for you. For more videos, click on the subscribe button and follow my Facebook page. And see you in the next video.